In the past two weeks, Gallatin County Search and Rescue has received six calls, two south of Big Sky and four outside of West Yellowstone. I spoke with one of the volunteers involved in some of these rescues about why he continues to answer the call. Most of the calls we've had in the last month are, are all snowmobile rescues, either broken bones or um, lost and needed help uh, finding their way out. Big Sky Section Manager Mark Bradford says he joined Search and Rescue because he wanted to do what he thought someone else could do for him. I joined Search and Rescue, you know, a long time ago, and one of the reasons that I wanted to do it was I always felt like if I was injured in the Basque Country that, you know, I'd want me to come rescue me. He says search and rescue is no walk in the park. I always tell people that, that, that want to join search and rescue that, you know, it's never when you're sitting around on a Sunday afternoon waiting for a call to come. It's usually when you have a kids basketball game to go to or it's Christmas Eve and you're trying to go to church that it's you have to kind of jump in and uh, you know, go to action. Last year, Search and Rescue's annual report says there were 140 missions, 36 searches, and 89 rescues. Captain of Search and Rescue Scott Secor says although call volume is high, it's about the same as last year so far. This year is actually right in line with last year, but to be fair, last year was a record year for us. He believes the influx of population around Gallatin County is why these rescue numbers continue to grow. I think with the amount of people moving to Gallatin County, you have to assume that the influx of population mixed with the access to the outdoors that we have here, those two things combined together just creates kind of the perfect storm for a high call volume search and rescue. He says it's important to keep a communication device handy as well as travel with a partner in the backcountry and recognize all the hard work the volunteers do to keep you safe. It's nice when people uh, recognize the good work that our volunteers are doing and, and really uh, realize that they're going out at all times of the day at all hours to rescue complete strangers. In Bozeman, Kristen Merkel, NTN News.